in Algebra 1 half, second edition, lesson 95, and this is our order of division. So the procedure for simplifying expressions that require multiplication, division, and algebraic addition is as follows, just like we did a few lessons back on order of operations. Number one, we do multiplication and division from left to right in the order they are encountered, okay, left to right. And then secondly, do any algebraic addition, which would mean addition and subtraction. All right, so we're given this expression, 32 divided by 2 times 4 minus 3 times 5 plus 2. Goodness gracious, unless you did it the exact correct way, you're going to be way off base in your answer. So going left to right, we have 32 divided by 12. I'm going to simplify that. That would be 16. And then I'm going to write 16 and then times 4 minus, here I've got 3 times 5, which is a multiplication. So 3 times 5, I can go ahead and simplify to 15 and then bring down the plus 2. Then I'm going to do my multiplication here. 16 times 4 is 64. And then I'm, I'm left with all my multiplication and division is completed. I just have my algebraic addition. So 64 minus 15 is 49 plus 2 is equal to 51. All right, in our next example, we're told to simplify this expression. All right, so we have a fraction. We're going to simplify the top of the fraction and then the bottom of the fraction and then see if we can divide. All right, so here we have, um, in parentheses, we have 3 minus 7. So we know we have to do our parentheses first. So 3 minus 7 is going to give us this negative 4 here. And then I've got a multiplication here, 3 times 2, and I'm going to get 6. On the bottom, I've got this um, parentheses. So I've got to solve that. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. All right, so then I'm going to go over here. I'm multiplying these two numbers to get negative 10. And then 4 minus negative 4 is the same thing as saying 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6. And I can look at it and see there's two sets of 6 plus 4, which is 10. So two of those would be 20. So I'm left with 20 divided by negative 10, which will simplify to negative 2. So really, really easy as long as you follow the procedure exactly. All right, so let's do another example. Example 2, or actually this is our third kind of example. We have 6, and then parentheses negative 4 plus 3, minus parentheses negative 2 minus 6, parentheses 2, over 3 times parentheses 2 minus 4. So this first parentheses here, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So I've simplified that much. Now, 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Negative 8 times 2 is negative 16, but then this makes it positive 16. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. I'll add the two top numbers. Negative 6 plus 16 is positive 10, divided by negative 6. And I can reduce that to negative 5 over 3. And that would be my final answer. All right, let's do our practice problem. We only have one practice problem. Shows you that this should be a pretty simple lesson. Okay, so we have this set of parentheses. And I'm going to do this here in red. 2 minus 5, that is negative 3. And then I've got... 4 times 2 is 8, and then down here, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Alright, and then let's go ahead and solve. 
bring down 6 minus negative 3 plus 8 plus 3 over 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Alright, I've done all my multiplication and division left to right. 6 minus negative 3 is the same as saying 6, 6 plus 3, which is 9, plus 8 is 17, plus 3 is 20. So on the top I have 20, and on the bottom, negative 4, and I can reduce that to um, negative 10 over 2, or negative 5 over 1. Or I could just say negative 5. Alright, good job. I will see you back next time for lesson 96.